Peggy, what about this Civilian Climate Corp? I mean, pushed by the far left environmentalists, it's going to pay young Americans to advocate for environmental justice. What the hell does that mean? Well, I thought our colleges were already doing that, right? <laughs> Seems like everybody that goes through these woke universities here in the U.S. and probably in Australia, too, are evangelists for the climate. But again, yeah. these are not things that the American people prioritize. These are not things that the federal government should be funding or supporting. If private organizations want to do that and advocate for that and spend their money on that, that's great, but these are not priorities for the federal budget. And not for taxpayers' money. Not for taxpayers' money. There's $150 million yeah. in this budget for the legal fees for illegal immigrants. Hello? $150 million for the legal... Oh, stop it. Legal fees of illegal immigrants. You wonder where this nonsense ends. I mean, what about national security, Peggy? The Center for Strategic and International Studies senior advisor, Mark Kansian said, quote, for defense, this is a pretty substantial step backwards. Now, you've got China and Russia breathing down our necks, and in the midst of a border crisis, Biden's budget would cut funding for the Department of Homeland Security. I don't know. I just don't know how Americans would accept this. I feel outraged that I'm miles away here in America. I mean, last year, the Republicans wanted 18,000 Border Patrol agents, 18,000. The budget is funding 350. Peggy, I keep saying I just don't understand why, don't understand why they aren't marching in the streets. Well, they're supporting 350 border agents, but they are supporting also 87,000 IRS agents. So you can tell that the priority is to go after the American people, not to protect the American yes, people. Yes. And That's whether it's revenue, funding yeah, or lowering the funding for the military yeah. or just throwing a bone how many, at securing How many? The I missed that. How many, have been, how many are going to be employed before. to chase Americans down for their tax and land revenue? How many? 87,000 IRS agents, enough to fill up what we would call a football stadium here. 87, but 350 000. border agents, I think the American people would like to see those numbers reversed. I think you're right. Just before we go, I note that the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget has said, quote, this budget falls well short of the deficit reduction needed to put the nation on a sustainable fiscal path. The Taxpayers Protection Alliance says this budget proposes to hammer an already reeling economy with a barrage of tax hikes, which will ultimately disincentivize um, investment in American business.